Most engineers who work with Tailwind CSS, especially in React projects, are most likely using it wrongly. In this video, I'll be showing you five tips that can help improve your workflow and developer experience while building React projects using Tailwind CSS. If it's your first time on the channel, kindly subscribe. Let's get into it. Number one, put classes in a variable. Seeing long classes attached to an element doesn't say so much about the element. In fact, it can make the element look intimidating. Putting classes in a variable helps you to sleep better at night. Let me show you. So, you have this section here with all of these classes that doesn't say so much about the class, about the elements like I mentioned earlier. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this guy. Yeah, of course, it's going to try an error. Const section style equals, make it a string. Okay, we have the string already. And I'm going to say section style. Yep. Seeing this is much more informative than what we had before. And that's the first tip that I'll be sharing with you. Number two, put a class on each line. Putting your classes in a variable doesn't eliminate the intimidation that comes with looking at long classes. In fact, it feels like looking at the minified version of the CSS file. Why not then take a cue from vanilla CSS and just put a class on each line? Let me show you what that looks like. So now the section style, instead of using the normal string that ships with JavaScript, I'm going to use a template literal. So, I'm going to put each class on each line. Okay. Okay. And that's it. On to the next one. You know the problem with putting a class on each line is, let me show you how this looks like in my browser right so this is what it looks like in the browser you can see that this section now has this each of the classes taking up a line in the dom the problem with this is that as your code base continues to grow classes are taking up too much space within your dom and that can impact the performance of your website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a package called netlify class names template literals this is what it looks like i'm just going to type ctl i have it installed already you can see the package here you see at Netlify class names template literals. I'm going to wrap this code, these template literals that I have created initially, I'm going to wrap, wrap it in it. So if I do this now and I save up and I come back to the DOM, you see that these classes are now optimized within the DOM. And that's the third tip, which is to what? To optimize your classes within the DOM. Congratulations, your classes are now optimized in the DOM, but not in your React component. One of the things I learned from the Tower of React by Alexander Kondov is when people come into your React component, they're interested in the components, not the clumsy class names that you have inside the React component. So a hack for that is to simply cut the variable and put it outside of the component. Now, this looks clean. Let's go to the last but not the least tip. Then the last but not the least tip is to avoid conditionally rendering classes. Here's what I mean. Say so you have a component, say links.jsx, that accepts variants, and you need to display that link based on the various styles of the variants that you have. Now, what, what you most likely do is to do something like this, where you conditionally render the variant. This works, but there's a better way to do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the link style, first and foremost, and take it outside of here. So take the link style, okay, that's broken. Take the link style outside of here, right? Now, of course, things are going to break. One, because you do not have access to a variant inside of here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new variable and call it link base style, link base style, right? CTL, don't forget that. And I'm going to paste all this base style inside of that. I'm going to create a new variable, const link variant styles, variant styles and i'm going to make it an object so i need to be an object of the various variants that we have so in this case i will have primary right being the key and the value will be the style for the primary button i will cut this guy and paste him over here then for secondary as well of course i will come over here secondary then cut this guy as well and paste it over here 
Now I can delete the link style and come into the component and say const link style equals ctl. You can decide to do ctl. Yeah, ctl is better, right? And I'm going to do link base style. Of course, you can access variables directly. Link base style. And I'm going to say link variant styles based on the variant. So basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting the style based on the variant that user passes in here. Oh, there's an error here. This should be link base style. Paste this guy. Uh, sorry, that's a mistake. Link base style. Amazing. So we have that covered. Save it up. Come over here. Let me refresh this page. And you see that everything still looks good. Just to be sure that everything works fine, I'm going to come over to the header and I'm going to change the variance of this guy to secondary. So that means you should have an outline and this guy to primary. Save it up and you see, everything works fine. Did you find those tips helpful? Well, let me know in the comment section. Can you subscribe if you haven't already and share as well? Cheers. And don't forget to build like a boss.